The subject of this video is Copilot Generative AI. Grab your coffee and let's get started. Microsoft Copilot has a feature called Generative AI. It enables you to create images. ChatGPT also has this feature if you're a user of ChatGPT. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create images, logos, and how to use Microsoft Designer along with Copilot to create some really interesting images. Let's open up Copilot. Look in the link in the description within the video, and you'll see the Microsoft courseware. And we can go to the Explore Generative AI. So let's have a look, have a read here. Uh, they give you some instructions. We're going to jump right down to the Create Image um, exercise, just so we can demo it right away. Everything else you can read about how to set up the AI to generate the images you want. And you've got to have a conversation with the AI to get exactly what you want. And I'm going to show that. So let's just enter a really quick request to Copilot to create an image. And I'm a fan of beaches and beer, so uh, you're probably going to see that there's some beach and beer involved in this uh, uh, image generation. So let's click uh, Create and wait for a Copilot to respond back. So here you can see it's generating and the response usually takes about 10 seconds or so, depending on how busy uh, Copilot is. And you'll, uh, it'll return a few examples. So here's a nice beach and uh, he's definitely got the glasses on and enjoying a beer. So let's um, in include a man's best friend. It's, I'm sure dogs enjoy beer and sitting on the beach. So let's click Create and see what it comes back with. So again, it'll take a few seconds for it to create, and then we can see uh, what options we have after this. We'll probably um, add some additional requests to generate images just so we can show the differences. So here's the dog enjoying the beer. I'm not sure what brand that is, but he looks like he's having a good time. So let's look at something more practical. How about an office layout? I've recently redone my whole office and uh, included it in a desk and sound and lighting. And um, let's see what's up Copilot comes back with from a, uh, a design perspective. Let's give it a few seconds. I always recommend having a coffee when you're doing this. It gives you something to do in between waiting for um, Copilot to uh, create the image. So here's uh, some images of uh, a, an office layout. So let's open up one of the images in Microsoft Designer. So select one of the images you want to work with, click on it, and then look over to the right and click on Customize. That will open up Microsoft Designer. So here, once the canvas opens up, um, you'll see some options to edit and modify, customize. If you've worked with Canva, it, it's kind of reminiscent of Canva. Um, so here you have filters you can apply um, that do a variety of things along the top. You have options to uh, remove the background, to crop. Um, you can select. You can save as a background, that sort of thing. So it it. If you're a Canva user, this may be an option, an alternative for you to use. I guess it depends how um, attached you are to the Canva product. Maybe you'll use both. So you can also download the image when you're done. So let's have a look at the uh, designer settings and some of the templates and other features. Here you can um, replace images. You can um, remove the background, um, you can crop, you've got some, a variety of image tools that you can work with. Um, so, you know, you think about your basic image image tool functionality, um, the designer has that. It's very much like a Canva. If you haven't used Canva, um, you know, take a look at it as well, because it's very similar to how DesignR operates. Um, you've got a series of images you can work with, templates. So here you can go through and you can superimpose your image on a template. If you make a birthday card, maybe you've got a, a picture of yourself 
yourself or someone or a dog or a cat and you want to make a, a, a card for your 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 dog, a dog's birthday or a pet's birthday or something. Um, you can also go in and do some further modifications to the images that are used, to the uh, fonts that are used. Um, it's, again, if you're familiar with Canva, then you'll see the tool set behaves very similar to um, Canva. Let's explore designer ideas. So under designer ideas, you can look at a several images. And then when you hover over the image, you can see what text they use to generate the image. So this can kind of give you some ideas as to uh, what to use when generating your image. You can be very descriptive. So let's uh, use uh, some of that as an example. Let's create a motorcycle image. So riding a motorcycle, maybe somewhere very scenic, um, the Grand Canyon, as an example, and let's see what it comes up with. So let's click Create and wait a few seconds. Hope you have a coffee in between uh, clicking Create and waiting for the image to be generated. And then what we'll do is once the image is generated, then we'll you know try some variations on that um, text and see how it changes. So here we go, we've got some interesting pictures. It seems to provide four images at a time, so um, you can have a selection and you can modify. So let's say motorcycle with wings, for example, because, you know, social media, there's all these pictures showing up of people that just looks really weird, you know, like Will Smith uh, eating spaghetti, just really kind of weird. Um, you know, and as you use these tool sets, you can see how... Um, great they are, but potentially how they could be used maliciously. So let's see what a bike looks like when it has a set of wings on it. So let's give it a few minutes and we should see it any minute. So there's a bike with wings. To wrap up, Microsoft's Copilot enables you to create images, thumbnails, postcards, and you can then modify them and tailor them to your need using Microsoft Designer, much like a Canva application. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please click like and subscribe.